Now as Christian and Hopeful travelled, they came to a fork in the road. But it seemed that both paths from it lay straight in the way. And they couldn't work out which one to follow. While they were thinking about it, a man in a very light robe came to them and asked them why they just stood there. They answered, we're going to the celestial city and we don't know which of these ways to take. Follow me, said the man. I'm going there. And so they followed him. They followed him in the way that came down into the road by just a few degrees turn. But it turned them away from the city that they desired to go into in reality. And in a little while, they found that their faces were turned well away, heading in the wrong direction to the city. But they followed him. And before long, and before they were really aware, they were caught in a net and so entangled that they did not know what to do. The white robe fell from the man and he was revealed to be an imposter and dark of heart. They lay there crying for some time, but they couldn't get out. Oh, said Christian, I'm in error again. The shepherds told us to beware of the flatterers. The wise man said in his day, he that flatters his neighbour spreads a net for his feet. Oh, said Pilgrim, we were given directions to find the right way as well, and we've forgotten to read them, and we've been caught by the path of the destroyer. As they bewailed their position, they saw a shining one coming towards them with a whip of small cord in his hand. When he came to where they were, he asked them how they got to be there. They told him they were poor pilgrims going to Zion, and they had been led astray by a deceiver. They bid us, he bid us follow him, uh, and he was going there, he said, but he's a flatterer, a false prophet. He him, transformed himself into an angel of light, but he was really an angel of darkness. The Shining One cut the net and let the men out. He said, follow me and I'll set you on the right way. And he led them back to the right way. He told them that they should not follow flatterers. Well, back on the pilgrim path. Today, Bunyan is warning his readers about the flatterers, the deceivers, uh, the sort of people that are mentioned in 2 Peter uh, who are false teachers, false prophets. They appear to be angels of light. They appear to be clothed in the right clothes, the clothes that God has provided, the clothes of holiness and purity. But actually, they're just hiding their true selves. And their true selves are dark and greedy and mean. And they catch Christians in their net and stop them from walking the true path for a while until an angel of light comes along an angel of light who reveals what's going on and rescues the pilgrim. Many a church and many of a Christian has been caught by someone who pretends to be one thing but actually is another. And it's a real danger and one that we all face. Uh, but what's at the heart of it and what the revelation is that they don't speak truth, they speak flattering words. And that's at the heart of the flatterer. He speaks and says what you want to hear, not what you need to hear. And sometimes they cr climb into a pulpit and uh, it sounds really lovely, but actually it's not at all. It's just a deception. Uh, may God protect us from the deceivers, from those who tell us what we want to hear, not what we need to hear. From me and my little friend on the path ready for home. God bless you. Have a good day.